tide is on the move. Raptors hover over a withered carcass. But there is scent of fresher meat in the wind. Pickings have been slim for Nabamba's pride since her fight with a startled warthog. The lioness is limping from the encounter. And even the pride's big male, Jabu, wonders when his next meal will come. There's been no kill for three days, and Nabamba's cubs are hungry. Survival is tough across this tawny continent. And for the lions of Pinda Reserve, etched into the heart of Zululand, only those with speed and cunning will eat. For this pride anyway, it's been a long time between meals. his lioness to feed him. Overnight, his stealth carried him into the path of a careless zebra. The rest of the herd is still skittish. One animal had already lost his tail to a hungry pride, but for the dazed stallion, it was all over in seconds. The big male watches his kill from a distance, exhausted by the chase, exhilarated by the sport. Jabu will feast later. Tired from the hunt, he needs to rest. But his prey will be safe. Few scavengers will risk the sudden return of the lion king. Lions in the dry air of winter. But it's a region also shared by Pinda's giraffe and white rhino population. modern times, most of southern Africa's wildlife has been ravaged by hunting and habitat loss. Farmland, overgrazed and buffeted by domestic stock, has ripped the heart out of the original bush. The open, broad-leaved woodland, acacia bushveld and wetland habitat had all but disappeared, taking with it the wildlife. A few years ago, the Pinder project was born. 17,000 hectares of farmland bought up in KwaZulu-Natal along South Africa's eastern seaboard. What followed? The lions on this property are actually generating revenue for the property through ecotourism and that they are a benefit to the wildlife because of the draw card. And a few animals, lions, elephants, for example, and, and rhinos, I mean, and possibly giraffes, but those are your main ones that people come to see. And we've been very fortunate to be able to have lions on the property, and I think those lions that we, we have have given us amazing value for our guests, and by getting a guest in here, we're getting revenue into the area, and that's benefiting wildlife as a whole. Jabu has returned to his kill. He licks the bloated carcass, but still there is no feeding. Lions will gloat over their prey, delaying the first bite until the meat ripens. For Jabu, the prospect of the meal is to be relished as much as the eventual feast. Wow. 
Star Navambo's pride is on the prowl. The older cubs are ten months now, weaned, but still dependent upon the bumbo for food. The cubs are learning to stalk, but they won't kill for another six months. Young male lions are usually ejected from the pride when they are about two years old. Fending for themselves, they form hunting groups with other isolated males. Nabumbo's cubs aren't sure what to do with prey so close. But the lioness isn't far behind. Their time for hunting will come. Nabumbo's four-year-old daughter also lives with a pride. She is the mother of the group's youngest offspring, seven-week twins Umveli and Damana. The little cubs have been hidden since birth and now stay close within the protective circle. has little time for his small cub. When he is older, the mana will hunt with his father, but for the moment, the big male has nothing to do with his young son. Dejected, the cub finds solace among his siblings. To lift the head fail. And rather than leave the giraffe vulnerable to predators, yep. the young bull is shot by rangers. serve energy 20 hours a day, waking only to groom. After two days, Jabu has returned to his kill with another younger male. Three-year-old Tembi is a son from a previous liaison with Nabumbo, and the two paired up after Tembi was ousted from the pride. males are lazy and will gladly let the females track down prey but the theory that males won't hunt is a fallacy lions are sociable cats the only group to take part in communal hunts ambush is an important part of the lion strategy Often one pride female will round up the prey from the front, driving it towards a second lioness. As in most cases, the pride male will only get involved if he has to.
with all animals is how you treat them is what's the reaction you're going to get back from them. Certainly a Pinda, all our guides go through a training course and they're all brought up to a certain standard. There is a certain operating ethic with regards to viewing animals and we certainly try and be as sensitive to the animals as possible. Cradled within the arms of the Yabomba Mountains and the Indian Ocean, Pinda covers one of the most diverse regions of Africa. Here are found seven different ecosystems, from palm savanna and bush felt to rare sand forest and dense thorn bush, all restored from the pastoral belt which had swept down the east coast. Cotton, pineapple and cattle farms once stood, lion now roam their habitat again, alongside some traditional neighbours. sees its responsibility to the region extending beyond restoration of habitat and wilds in captivity. And a male and female were brought to South Africa from an Italian zoo for breeding purposes. But attempts to mate Akaf, the big male from the ill-fated Mozambique circus, with the Italian female are proving difficult. Akaf is overprotective, even preventing the lioness from eating when the meat truck arrives. Finally though, Sissi makes her breakthrough. Nabambo has made a kill, a young Nyala buck. It's been three days since the pride has eaten. And this will provide meat for them all. But the lioness will eat first. The cubs know the routine. They will get their turn. But Nkosi is hungry. He creeps towards his mother. As the biggest of the cubs, Nkosi watches. A lioness can eat more than 20 kilograms in a single sitting. This could be a long wait for the little cub. Nkosi approaches the kill cautiously. Sometimes a lioness will turn on the cubs. But today, Nabambo is pleased with her efforts. Nabambo's daughter hears the call. It is the second this morning. The first was the strangling cry of the Nyala as Nabambo broke the young buck's back. There was no struggle. The big lioness is a seasoned hunter. The rest of the pride will feast on the carcass after Nabambo retires. The first they will drag it into the bushes, away from prying eyes, away from raptors already circling the kill scene.
ridicule has created a nervous edge. Even the hippo, its bad temper legendary, is flustered, anxious to protect its waterhole. Wildebeest are a favourite prey for lions. Naturally, they feel vulnerable. But for the pride, there is no agitation. Gorged, they will sleep for the next day. Even Mveli and Damana, the seven-week twins, have tasted blood for the first time. But it will be many months before they take part in a hunt. For the moment, they just want to play with Nkosi. The cub is beginning to take on the shaggy mane of the bigger males. Within 18 months, he will be hunting with them, competing for his own pride. In the meantime, though, he has to contend with his young siblings. Jabu rejoins the pride. He has missed out on the kill, but he didn't share his zebra with the rest of the pride the previous day. A half-hearted attempt at mating, but the big lion's attention is drawn to a curious onlooker. With the pride so close, the giraffe won't be sitting for long. Drinking and sitting is when they are at their most vulnerable. <laughs> 